Hey everybody, we are looking at a clarinet that has been sitting in this case since I was in junior high. Haven't opened it up since, haven't played it, have not assembled it, I don't know if I can play it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share this with my Twitter fans out there. I'm going to attempt to take this thing out of the case and put it together. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, I don't know if the wax for the cork still works. Let's open this up. Yeah, it's still uh, soft. The reeds, they're many, many years old. They might work, they might not. So, you see it's really dirty. It used to be shiny. It needs a little bit of polishing, but first I'm going to take this thing out of the case and put it together and share that uh, experience with you. And then I'm going to blow on this thing. I'm going to give it a big blow and see if I can get a sound out of it without a squeak. So here we go. Not sure how exciting this video is going to be. But that's okay. Most of my videos are not that exciting. Let's see. Wow, it's been a long time since I played this guy. Um, whew. Okay, I remember this part. Let's see how it uh, puts... Yeah, the... Uh, that should have a tight fit. I don't know if this is even the right one. I think it is. So it, it, it fits, but the cork is definitely old. And I remember this piece, uh, I hated this piece because it put a lot of weight on my thumb when I was a little kid. And that's why one of the reasons why I couldn't scan this. I also didn't want to play it. Um, okay, that, that went together. The rub... Yeah, the, the cork seems to be okay. I've got two mouthpieces here. There's, oh, wow, the little, uh, let me put this down for a second. I don't want this to fall. Um, this little ring just came off. Probably needs some glue along with some polishing. And so that goes over here. Yeah, all of this corking is, is really worn down. I remember when I was a kid, my parents took this and had it recorked. And here's the reed. If I decide to play this, I'll polish it up. I'll find out if I'm going to recork it, how much money I want to spend on this thing. And so the reed, what you have to do with these things is you got to put it in your mouth and suck on it. Remember, I said I was going to blow on this thing before, but now I got to suck on this thing. So the whole goal as you put this in your mouth and get it a little wet and moist. This, this video is disgusting. <laughs> um, suck, 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 suck. And then this was the nasty swab thingy. Oh, wow, it's falling apart. It's old, I told you. Um, what else do I have? Here's another swab holder. I really used to play this all the time. What is this? Um, there's some reeds. Been a long time. More reeds. And looks like this goes around the clarinet to hold my music. Wow. It's taking me back to when I was a little kid. Some cork grease. Wow. This could come in handy in a, on a date. Playing the instrument, I mean. Playing, uh, yeah, so there's some cork grease and I'm a sucker on this thing again. Trying to get it lubricated and moist. Now it doesn't want to go in, but that's okay. Um, hey, if you like my videos, do that thumbs up, like, subscribe thing. If you want to help me get this thing repaired, I don't want to ask you to do a GoFundMe thing, so just go to my channel page, click on the support button, and give me a nice big donation of a couple million, and I can get this thing fixed up, maybe. Okay, that's not going to fit in there, but well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, this is dirty, wow, just sitting in this box forever. When you got something that sits in a box a long time, that's going to happen. It's all tarnished. And I remember the first time I played this thing, like any woodwind instrument or, a tr or brass, when you first play it, 
Yeah, the, the, the reed is kind of cut off at the end, so this might not even work. But you, play, you try to play it for the first time and you get a squeak or a squeal out of it. So I think that's covering the tip, but again, there's an opening on the edge. And then you plug it in here, you don't plug it, you insert it, you penetrate. Ugh! Okay, the reed does not look good at all. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to try to play this for the first time. This is not even lined up since I was a kid. Lots of gaps in here because of the, the corking. And, God, I don't even remember what this was called, the low E or an F. Or, I took lessons from a guy who was uh, really famous. He used to show me how cool he was, how great he was, and I couldn't stand it. He used to practice for hours a day. So, I'm kind of self-taught on guitar. I suck on that, and I just got myself a keyboard, and I'm loving it, and I'm teaching myself that as much as I can. And I thought I'd mess around with this, because when I was a kid... I couldn't stand it. It just seemed like the end of the world trying to learn how to do this. And once you get past that mental block with guitar, or it just seems so much easier. Piano's really easy now, even though it's still hard. So, now this is not lined up. It's definitely not lined up. I'm going to turn it a little bit more. Okay, so it's just got a wobbly, wobbly thing. Um, you're going to hear me play this. It's still not lined up. Or maybe it is. Maybe that's why I hated this thing, because I could never get it lined up. Um, it's filthy. Filthy and stained. Well, some little uh, dirt over there, too. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. I just got a sound out of it for the first time since I was a little kid. The first blow. Amazing. Unbelievable. All right, I wanted to share this with my YouTube uh, pals out there, not that you care. And yeah, this is really filthy. I'm going to clean it up. Try to clean it up. God, look at all the dirt on that. I don't know if that's mold or splooge or what, but I'm going to clean this mess up. And I think the pads seem to be okay. They it, it did okay. Maybe you can go on the internet and buy a, uh, a rebuild kit, but I don't think I need to put pads on here. I do think I need to put cork on here. I don't know how cork is put on one of these things. I would hate to find out the cost of something like that. Maybe a little bit more than I want to spend. But it seems to be playing okay. It just needs a little bit of polishing. A lot of polishing. Which, that's another project I can do. And, uh... Unbelievable. I'm freaking out. Okay, so uh, that is my video that I'm going to go post now. Thumbs up if you want to, if you thought this was worth sharing an important moment of my life and uh, witnessing this. And if you didn't, then that's okay too. Uh, still uh, go to that channel page, click on the support button, and leave me like, I think I'm going to need a, maybe a couple million to get this thing rebuilt. But music is important, and I think everybody wants to be a part of helping me out with that. So let me go play a tune. <laughs> I'm, I'm just incredible. I'm shocked. Peace out, Holmes. <laughs>